it's Wasabi. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, we've got a battle on the D-Day map, or the Overlord map as it's known. Uh, we've got the Napalm Army, it's Cranwagon. Uh, Napalm is one of the uh, top players on the server. Um, he's a great uh, player and he has a Twitch channel, which I'll link below. He's one of the um, original CCs in the ANZ uh, program. And, uh, He's a very helpful person. He also calls the um, NZ PLPL um, games, or the BL one, I think, um, but he plays in the NZ Premium League as well. So you may have seen him if you've watched that, um, but uh, yeah, I encourage you to watch his um, Twitch channel. Uh, he's in a Tier 10 tank, and this isn't actually a tier 8 to tier 10 game, so he's top tier. Uh, but he'll have to make the most of it to get the um, best rewards. But uh, currently, yeah, he's got some sacrificial tier 8s here. Yeah, he's got a tier 9 FM, that's the um, AU phase 1, but he has got his heat gels loaded, which gives his the highest penetration, but he's choosing to. Um, Get as many tanks out of the game as possible, and there's a Caliban there. It's uh, reduced in health dramatically, and it's already up to 2.5k damage. Now, the AE Phase 1 has managed to find his lower plate, that's sort of one of the weaknesses of the Crane Wagon, but uh, does have a very strong frontal armour and a good gun depression, so playing on this uh, slope is, you know, using the best defense of the Crane. Uh, it is going to be nerfed a little bit in patch 118 that's coming up from what we've seen in the common test. Um, so, the armor is setting high watermark for the tank in case uh, you can't uh, replicate it when it's nerfed. But, um, we'll see how it goes in this one. Now, 3.5k of damage now. So, you can see the uh, DPM uh, output of here. Uh, three shells nets you yeah, approximately 12 of damage. You can see the, um, the damage here being done over 100 per shell, but it can provide low roll, of course. Um, so, again, taking a little bit of damage, but the um, yeah, lower plate is the main weakness. You can snipe the Capola, but it's a very small target, so it's not necessarily the best thing. But if you're facing a crown wagon and you're sitting still, well, you can try aiming there. It's down to that uh, 5120 again, and the Caliban takes the Caliban out. This next shot should get rid of the 5120, which it does, so it's up to this third kill. Now we've got a famous player down below, Prova Bob from 1ARM. Uh, normally plays Arty, a very strong Arty player, but in this case is in a tier 9 E75, and looks like he's going to be the next victim. So. Just trying to find the Capola there, and you can see it's not exposing his tank to the gun. And see so that uh, he's just managed to put three shots into the roof or the Capola, and of course the roof armour of a tank, typically being the, the thinnest armour. This tank called Tank Zapper, I love the names on the NZ server, some really creative names there. And there's the, can you get a shot into Provo Bob? Yes, he does and gets the kill, so fourth kill there to the Napalm. Now, they pretty much cleaned up the beach. Now, we normally tell you don't go to the beach if you're trying to win the match, but it's helped clean it up. It's taken 6.6k of damage out of the enemy team, and they're on a bit of a roll here. He's got a T103 up the top there, but he's not capable of shooting down on where Napalm is, so he's pretty safe. He has been spotted, so at least the enemy know where he is on the map. Assuming they're paying attention to the minimap. There's quite a few tanks in the middle. But again, this is a tier 8, tier 10 game, so it's managed to basically take out tier 8s and tier 9, so it's still leaving the um, ST2 and the Leopard as the tier 10s on the um, enemy side, and he's got an STB1 and tier 10 on side. This took me one having a pretty decent um, gun and gun depression and this map should shoot, shoot that tank but um, it's not a heavy tank so you can't expect it to um, do everything. But here he's got possibly the rear of the leopard in the 
back of the hill. Yes, he is. Puts one shot in. Can he get another shot in? Yes, he can. And he goes on the reload as he pulls back. He's still keeping his premium rounds going. But uh, once he realises what targets he's got, um, he may not really need to use them, but um, the main target there he probably needs it for is the ST2. Now he's found the rear of the Uda space rig, he's clearly not paying attention to his minimap. Puts one shot in, two shots in there, realises he's being shot, and that's as far as he realises he's been sent back to the garage. So he goes on the reload again, and there's the ST2. So the T103, so he's choosing to deal with the T103 first. Get rid of him without a problem. Gets the kill with the first shot and takes a hit from Charioteer that he can't see. He should be able to see, but he's choosing to focus the um, ST2. But yeah, unfortunately, doesn't penetrate even with his heat shells for either shot and armor not penetrated, meaning that one went into the tracks. So rushing the shots there a little bit, trying to make sure he doesn't get too exposed to the Charioteer. He's managed to get two hits into him, but now he's going to chase this ST2 as much as possible. And the only tanks have cleared off mostly to the east side of the map. This team actually needs a little bit of bother. He's, they've got a one tank lead still, but it's been reduced by four or five tanks um, from what we saw earlier when it was 6 1. They've almost got more than half of the kills. We've got his top gun here, and he's got the ST2, some shots of no dramas there, going for the rear, and he gets the kill. So it takes out probably the most dangerous tank on the enemy side there, although Weapon 1 definitely has a pretty punchy gun, but its strength is really shooting at range and not being spotted, so in other terms it's pretty squishy. So Napalm is still loading heat, but maybe he doesn't realise this at this point, focusing on the enemy team. His main issues here are not being shot, and so he can maintain his hit points, but also doing damage, so he's found a scorpion there. A nice snapshot in there to the scorpion just before he gets killed. And actually picks up a little bit of assisted damage there. But uh, pretty much now it's game over, there's the Leopard 1 and the Lance and Sea, both of them are pretty squishy tanks, and he's going to his standard rounds here. So he might be able to get a shot into Lance and see it before he gets behind the rock. No, he doesn't. Where's the left one? He's gone behind some uh, scenery there, so he's not shootable. Napalmer closing in on 10k of damage. This is going to be a massive game here. How much? Oh, big miss there from the uh, left one. Lance and bounces, of course, he's got no chance. Two shots in. Can he get the kill? No, he misses out on the kill. Sitting here on seven kills, Bradley Walters begging to drop in his hands at the moment, but he's on reload and he's got a chance to miss this and potentially get 11k or not, depending on how fast he can come up and reload. And everyone's chasing this last tank. Now he's got the leopard one, he can afford to take some damage here. One shot in. Second, oh, doesn't even get the second shot in, but he does click over 11k, which is pretty massive, particularly on this server. So, a great win there. Well, let's go and have a look at the detail. Well, that was a pretty brilliant round there. Just missed out on a Radley Walters. Um, seven kills, gave him the top gun. High caliber award for the most damage, uh, getting 11.1, nearly 1.2k of damage, uh, which uh, is probably the biggest damage I've seen so far on this server. Um, and just anecdotally, I don't think even Quickie Babies had even more than 10k because <laughs> he keeps complaining about it. Anyway, uh, we won't focus on anyone else. Um, Ace Tanker Mastery Badge, of course, for that performance. So let's have a look at the team score. Big carry here. Obviously, the most damage there. The next highest damage being a tier 9 lane 50T, getting 3k. And that performance has given nearly 1600 base experience in a tier 10. That's a pretty massive result. Get you an ace tanker and pretty much any tank, including Chieftain, which has got a very high level of, um, of uh, performance as well required to get that. And uh, yeah, just a spread of damage across the other tanks there, but um, pretty much no palmer's uh, efforts there carrying it off. And the um, Leopard 1 pretty, doing a pretty handy uh, play himself. Um, 4.8k of damage in that game, 
uh, source and four kills, yeah, pretty uh, thing, a good result. But um, you can see with his experience that a fair bit of that would have been sniping. So not so great. The ST2 doing 3.7 also, you know, not too bad. But of course, you're facing a lot of tier rates in that game there. So uh, not inexcusable. But let's have a look at the final details. So 33 shots fired, 32 hits, so fantastic um, accuracy there. 30 penetrations, a good shell selection as well going on there. Um, he had some uh, mission payouts happening, which was pretty handy, and ended up um, making a nice tidy profit of 25k, which at tier 10 is always acceptable. So great result there from Napama. Uh, thanks very much for sharing the replay. If you like the video, we hope you give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please consider doing that. We'll have more great content to follow, and thanks very much for watching.